So in this lesson, we're going to build off our knowledge of decimals, and we're going to just work on rounding them using some rounding rules. And we're going to start with this number, 63 and 821 thousandths. Say, let's just look at the purpose of rounding. Rounding is when you want to, like, take a number and come up with a number close to it for the reason of calculating or decision making. So it's just coming something easy to work with. So say like we're just talking about 63 and 8200. Say it was like $63.82 was the cost to go to a concert, right? It's going to be 63.82 to go to the concert. Well, you might round this and say, well, um, just to make sure I have enough money, I better bring $70. So if I brought 70, because that's above 63, so you'd have enough money there. So you need to like, just have a sense of that, even though that wouldn't necessarily follow the rounding rules. But say you just want to know to the nearest whole number, like, oh, what's the, what's the nearest dollar amount? Well, then you'd say 63 would be your dollar amount, but then you look over here, oh, I need 82 cents. So the 8 would say round up. You'd say, oh, we're at $64. And then you might even say, yeah, just make it an even 5, say bring $65 with you so you can get to the concert. Um, so rounding is really that sense of knowing what's close to a number and then picking numbers close to it to work and make calculations with. Now, in this case, we're just going to practice the rules, which um, go like this. You generally, you're going to say, okay, which place value am I going to round to? And then you look next door to the right and you say, is it 5 to 9? In that case, you're going to climb the vine or round up. Or is it 0 to 4? In which case, you're going to hit the floor or round down. So 5 or 9, climb the vine. 0 to 4, hit the floor. I'm sure there's plenty of sayings that teachers have taught you over the years to remember these. But generally, if it's closer to the next number, you go up to that one. If it's not you go down to the number before. And so let's move on and talk about how we would round 63 and 821 thousandths to each place value. We're going to start with what you might be familiar with, and let's round it to the tens place. In that case, I'm going to have the six in the tens. The three said to round down, because that's zero to four, so that's going to now become a zero. And it's going to be point zero zero zero. Everything else becomes a zero. Which really means ultimately, since I'm to the right of the decimal, I could get rid of these and say it rounds to 60. Now, if I rounded to the nearest um, whole number or the ones place, the tens place is going to stay the same. Everything to the left will stay. And then the three, well, I don't know what I do with that. I look next to the three, and there's an eight. The eight says go up, so the three actually becomes a four. And then you're point zero zero zero. But again, if it's to the right of the decimal, I don't need those zeros. So 63 and 821 hundredths to the nearest whole number would be 64. All right, let's kind of move over here so we can still see the original number. Now if we were to round to the tenths place where the 8 is, we would round that and the 6 and the 3 stay there, the decimal point. And then we look at the 8 and we look next door to the 8 and we see a 2. Okay, well the 2 says round down, 0 to 4 hit the floor. So that means the 8's going to stay the same, and then you put two zeros next to it for the 2 and the 1. Which again, anything to the right of decimal point, we don't need to say. So it could be 63 and 8 tenths, or we could say 63 and 800 thousandths. Both of those are the exact same number. Now when we round to the nearest hundredths place, you get 6. So everything to the left is going to stay, so 63.8. And then we look at the 2, and we look to the right, and you have a 1. The 1 says drawn down, so the 2 is going to stay the same. The 1 becomes a 0. 63 and 82 hundredths, or 63 and 820 thousandths. Both well, of those are proper ways to say that number. And finally, to the nearest thousandths place, 63.82. And when we look at this 1, we have to know that next to it is a 0. So since there's a 0 next to it, we know that says 0 to 4 hit the floor, so the 1 stays the same, and rounding to the nearest thousandths place essentially keeps the number exactly the same in this case, 63 and 821 thousandths. Uh, so that is just a real quick kind of overview of how you would round numbers to decimals through the thousandths place.